Hello guys, welcome to this simple copper and saucer modeling tutorial for beginners using Autodesk Maya in this software. Um, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to model this simple cup and saucer as shown in the image uh, on the screen. So, this image was gotten from Google after a Google search of cup front and side and then this results came up so I took this and split the pictures picking the ones I wanted okay so here I have in my source image for that these two cups which we are going to use as solar frames images for our cup now there are a lot of ways to make this cup well if I continue um, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so you can get notified for more videos and so I encourage you to make more videos. Alright, thank you. So there are many ways to make, uh, so there are different ways to model simple objects like this. Um, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways to model this cup. The first using nerves and the second uh, using poly modeling. So let's go right into it. So, um, first thing I'll do, I'll import this cup into this place as an image uh, plane, as a reference image. So to do that, I tap on spacebar to go to any of these Four groups I want, and I go to the front group. I tap on space bar here again. So here I have my grid here, and the grid can be turned off or on by clicking here. So for now, I want it there. And sometimes I'm going to take it off. So I want my image plane. Click here to get to image plane. In case you get lost with what I do, you can always look below here. You see what Whatever I click, whatever I type on the keyboard, it's all written here. Okay. So I go to near my phone, my pictures are located. Oh, so see it is good. I want this. Alright, so there it is. Now let's kill this up some bits. So I place the bottom of the cup just above this grid, uh, thick grid here. So it's just a bit. And zoom in by clicking Alt and right clicking to zoom in. Alt, right click to zoom in. Now, as I said, there are two ways to model this cup. The first is mouse. And let's, let's look at that. It's pretty easy, but only works or mainly works when we are dealing with a symmetrical object, an object that is the same thing all, 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 all around, like this cup. If you look at this cup, apart from the angle, if you look at the cup from both front, side, any perspective, it is the same thing, it looks the same. So let's see how we can do that using nerves. So go to cup and so go to surfaces panel up here, click on the EP curve tool. Okay, double click on it please, double click, now when you double click, make sure you have 3 cubic selected, if it's just one linear, change it to 3 cubic, alright, then you can close this, now let's draw, um, okay, so, I expect your cup to be at the middle of the grid, approximately at the middle of the grid, so we can start our Drawing from there, click here, and so here, and this one down is a bit here. You can type tap backspace to undo any call you make. Okay. So we are stopping at the center. When you are done, press enter on your keyboard and you have this. 
and let's edit this curve some bits right click okay before you do this let's set this image play uh, let's put the layer so it does not disturb our work so you know, I'll try to click our curve we don't mistakenly select the image play so to do that click on the image in the image reference layers create layer from selected so it creates a layer and um, assigns this image plane to it. Now we can hide the image plane. But what we want to do, we want it on, and we want this to be on R. So click on it until we get the R. So it is, it should be selected no matter what happens, no matter what you do. Now back here, you can pan the view by clicking, tapping on your keyboard and middle mouse dragging on your scene. And zoom in with alt and right click. So right click on this call, go to control vertex and let's pull this down. Um okay, let's change this to edit point, yes. Alright. Okay, so I get it does not know what I want. Let's see for this button. It has to be straight. Here is two points have to be straight. To achieve that, select both of them. These two points here. Then we're going to scale to and scale it down this way. Okay, this way the points get on the same level. Alright, and this one, you put Let's move this upwards. Alright. Good. And then put up this upwards. Great. Now we have a nice curve for our curve. Now right click. Let's move this first. Okay. And do, and do, and do. Now right click and go back to your object mode. As in the model for the curve. Okay, before you go, oh, something I can do I'm sorry about this. What's this? I think I mistakenly dragged my movements. Um, Good. Now, uh, object mode. Now, one more thing, we have to make sure that this point and this point are exactly at the same spot, exactly in the lens. That's it. At the same point. So to do that again, let's go to our edit point, drag and select these two points here. Click on your scale tool and drag to the center. Okay. Now with this, we are sure that both of them are at the same position, the same uh, y axis position. Let's look at this in the perspective view. Tap your spacebar. To show you this perspective, these four views, and place your mouse over here without clicking and tap space by again. It shows you this. Okay, so go to object mode. You can move this. Let's move this image plane backwards. So come here and go reference it. Click on the image plane, or move to and you can move it backwards. Okay, then let's reference it back again. So, so again, click and it's okay. Now this is what you do. This is the core of the day. Okay. So let's see what will happen now. Um, go to surfaces. Make sure you are on modeling here, not on rigging or animation or something else. Make sure you are on modeling. Then go to curves. Um, curves here. Yeah. Okay, what's that thing again? Then you pull up the curve. <laughs> Oh, where are you? Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, surfaces, not cars, please. Surfaces, go to surfaces and click on revolve. Revolve. Okay? And that's what happens. Yay, to revolve, actually. Okay. So just revolve, but I don't like 
what is forming. I'm going to undo this now and take it off some precautions. Okay, let's go back to our front view by tapping space bar and space bar again. Okay, zoom in here. Yes, this is where the problem came from. We want this spy box to be at the edge of the curve because that is where uh, that is where our um, that is where the revolve the revolving will take its axis from its center from wherever this spy box is. So I want to move it to this point. Now to do that, I'm going to tap D on my keyboard. D box. So it will you can drag the pie box anywhere you want without the object moving. Normally, when the pie box is normal, when you drag all the object moves, but when you tap D and leave it, you can drag the pie box without the object moving so you can change the position. Now, one more thing, we want to drag the object to that point on the core, but we are not sure it is really on the core because if you keep on zooming in, zooming in, you see that you are not perfect in the place on the core. But to do that, what do we do? Uh, I'm going to click on a curve. Curve, okay? Uh, what's this? This is snap to curves. This is snap to grid, snap to curves, snap to points, and others. So click on snap to curve and pull up. Uh, okay, let's change that to snap to points. Okay, good. And that's snap to points already. So it won't ever leave this point. Now pull it, keep pulling until you get to the end. Now when you get to the end, you see it's good on the game, except you pull it backwards. So this point is at the end. You can um, click on this and tap on D again. So with this, you know that yes, we are this this edge of the curve, which is the same place this started from. Okay. Now we can go back to the perspective view and the object mode. You can do object surfaces in the world. Good, perfect. Now we have our clock. At least we start a fresh, um, a, a simple shape looking like the clock. Already. So, first thing, let's convert this to polygon because this is a um this is a knob right now in terms of volume the knob does not have volume so let's convert it to a polygon to a polygon shape okay click on it go to convert uh, modify convert knobs to polygons okay click then we have this now click outside and click again let's move out we have two objects there uh, Undo. Let's go to our outliner. Windows outliner. What is the outliner? The outliner contains everything in your scene. Everything in your scene. That's the image plane, which is this. Because it's when I click on it, it gets selected here. Do I cannot select it here because I've already referenced it. But when I click on the outliner here, this image plane is there. The core by quoted is there. The revolve. Uh, the revolve I, I got after the call, that's it, and then the conversion from knobs to pull it, which I did just right now, and that is it. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. I, I don't like the shape of this, this, this triangles, angle, uh, triangles, which is not good for building really. Triangles is not good for building really. So let's try to make your work um, squares like. Made with four sides, which we call polygons, so not triangles. So I'm going to delete this and we convert again to poly. But this time I'm going to go to modify, convert. Instead of clicking here, I click on the option box just at the front. Okay. So here I can choose whether I want it to convert to triangles or quads. Quads means quadrilaterals. So four-sided objects. So I click on this and desolate or apply any of them. Now we have this. I'll just move this sideways away from this from the knobs. Click on the knobs. If you delete at this point, okay, you can do that. You can delete. You can delete. 
the, the core also, you can delete the core also. What I want then I want us to do, um, go to edit, delete all by type, history. History delete all, uh, when you delete all by type, history, you delete all what you do, all the history of the, the breakdowns, the connections between uh, the curves and the evolve, all the history you've been working on, so it deletes everything and it gives you a fresh uh, object, a fresh mesh, forgetting all what you've done on it in the past. So we want to do that, delete all by type, history. So for all the objects in this scene, we delete their its history. So now this um, shape here doesn't know anything about the curve, like let's say it or the revolve. Um, where we got this from. So let's move on. We have to. This is not the color of our curve. This has been inverted. The main color, the main curve is inside, and then the um, the wrong part is outside. Yes, then. So to bring that out, let's just go to Mesh Display, Reverse. All right, now we have this. Okay, but I can pass it as a whole, of course. To do that, um, you can go here. Okay, do you know how to do this? Right click on the object and hold the right click down. Move to Face and Release. And now we can delete whatever face we don't want. So, for this class, I would want us to delete um, from here. Click on this one or any one around there. Then shift click, shift and double click on the next one. Shift and shift double click on the next one. Oops. Okay, it's not working. Okay, I guess we just have to do this manually. Normally, it's supposed to go all the way around. I'll describe, I will explain to you shortly again before this is not working. So select around and delete. Now, here just double click, you should select all of this. Once you have cut all these shapes, bundled and object, you can then click on uh, uh, th that object and everything gets selected. Then press delete again or backspace to do that. Alright, good. Now, let's do something. Go to your edge mode by right clicking and holding on the object and dragging your mouse to edge before releasing it. Now, once that is done, you can now select edges here. And double click on any edge on the side, double click it, select all around. Okay, you want, you want to scale this out because this top is too big for a pop, right? This top it should be way smaller than this. So let's put your skill to and then rotate your pop to the top and then scale out. Alright. Scale uh, and just do it nicely to fit whatever you want and put this downwards. Alright. So now we have this. Okay. You know what? Let's do this. We're going to delete all of these faces which I have here and I'll we'll be just this below. I don't I don't want us to waste time on this. I'm not I don't like uh, modeling with nerves. We are still going to use the pull gun modeling, uh, which is way I think is way easier to understand. And it's more interesting, I guess, at least personally. So, but then I'm going to wash up, brush up what you can do to this cup. You can extrude it down, works. Let me show it down, works. Don't worry, you don't have to do this. Just explain where you are going to go into pull it with you. Okay, you can. Do you enjoy the feel or something? Then you can. A lot of other stuff you don't want to boil use right now. Okay? But if you look at the side view again, you see we've got something like this pop which we have here. 
okay we have our color right control of the x-ray here to view to make your objects transparent so you can view what's underneath so if you have forgotten the names the names of these or if the option is not shown just below after uh pressing your mouse and waiting on any of these tools you can let it show you can uh, reset it by going to windows general editors um windows sorry settings and preferences then click on preferences now scroll down to help 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 okay help is up here help then check display to clips display to clips must be checked once you do that click on save so whenever you place your mouse over any tool and wait for something it gives you the name of the tool and sometimes shortcuts just like this and shortcut for this is Q. Now we're going to just move this sideways and remove it again from scratch using another method. Um what method is that? Pulley modeling. Pulley modeling. So in this method we're going to be using a lot of tools um, to create especially the extrude tool so before i start let's look at what shape um, is best to make this cup or what shape does this cup most resembles if you ask me i would say it resembles a cylinder as you can see here a cylinder but you can start modeling from anything you any shape you love any shape you feel like you after so a lot of tweaking, you will always get um, the right answer. You will always get what you want. You will always get what you want. I'm sorry, I was a bit disconnected. Now, let's start. If you're opening my app for the first time, I'm going to click here. Um, okay, this is what will happen. When you click here, your cylinder or your object and um, your, your object just pops to the center of the screen at once so you can see that here it pops, pops to the center of the screen well i don't like drawing with that you can choose to keep working uh, like that if you want but then there's also another method or uh, you can go to create polygon primitives make sure you check interactive creation it allows your creation of your object to be interactive. So when you click on any of the shapes, you have to draw it yourself. And you can click and drag and click and drag up also. So let's move on. Go to the side view and try to position the base of this um, ceiling that match the base of this cup. So to do that, you have to click on your move tool and move. Okay, I'm trying to make this pivot at the center of the tip window. So, all right, good. Now go to vertex mode. Right click on your cup on your cylinder. Drag your mouse to vertex, and now you have all this. You can select vertices. Okay. Let's go to it too, so you can see what's happening here and what's happening on the third view and uh, the perspective view. So click here, you see that. Okay, and click here to hide this. And select, drag and select all of this. And put this to see what's happening here. Put object mode so you can move this forward. Okay, so let's move this and stop. And go back to vertex mode. You can do this from anywhere. Drag over the top. Now we start everything here has been selected. Now pull it up some bit. Go to the top of the block. Okay, now we need to scale this out to fit the edges of the block. And the bottom also to fit the edges of the block. So how do we do that? So after selecting this block, let's go here. Okay, 
come to the scale to here, click on it and click at this center one and draw. Okay. And now I want us to move everything sideways feet here. Alright. Now for the bottom one, so let's do the same. Select scale down. Now zoom in and adjust this one below. You see that? Okay, okay, okay. Let's leave this below because the bottom of our cup will always be flat. And this is a reference image, that's why it is curved the way it is. So let's take it on this side. Ours is so straight as you can see here, but the big cup. <coughs> It's not so this curve is not straight as this, it's not so straight, it's curved. So we need to form this curve. Now what forms these curves? The edges, we are, we are going to add some edges to this point to form the curve. Now what we do, we go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. Now as I mentioned before in my other tutorial, the second tutorial actually, um, edges are the lines, these lines you see here. All these lines that connect different edges together, different vertices together, they are called edges. As you can see, when you right click and hold and drag to edge, you can see that you are able to click on any of the edges. You right click and hold and drag the vertex. The vertex, you can click on the vertices. And then, same for face also, you can click on your faces. But now, we want to go to edge, edge mode. Okay, then mesh to start sorry and do this and do and do and do oops that was a mistake then you have to edge mode mesh to start edge mode to you can drag this is approximately where this cup Expands more where this curve goes farthest. So place this there. Now go to your scale tool and scale out with this center one until the curve gets to the edge of this. Okay. Good. Now let's take it outside a bit more because we are going to use a tool now which works that way. Now on your Full modeling panel here, look for bevel. And this tool is called bevel. When you select your edges, then you can do that by double clicking. When you double click, it selects round. Look at it here. Select all the edges round. Just double clicking on one edge, select it around. Now, after selecting everything around, click on bevel. Okay, wait for some time and see it load. Bevo did this, it separated that edge into two equal um, approximations for you. And now you can increase the fraction. Okay. You can reduce it. You can decrease the segments, normal divisions. Alright, I'm going to increase. Let me see, let me see. Remember, we are following this reference image. I think it's perfect enough already. We just increase the segments. More segments are happening. Okay. So good. Now let's see it in our PVD view here. What we have. Okay. See, we have a shape of the cup already. Now let's work on this button here. I'm going to turn off my grid. My people here. Zoom in, double click on this button and adjust it goes around. Click on your people again. And let's go to the side here to see this better. Without clicking anywhere, just tap speed bar until we get here. Now, after clicking on people, just adjust this downward and adjust the segment also. Okay. So you go through this. In the segments, 
we just took the Billy Dick Moon to see. Alright, I think this is also already. Now, one more thing, double click on this last one here and hold shift, right click. Hold shift, and right click. Then we'll do that again so you can see here. Shift and right click. Edit edge flow. Now, this kind of appointments, the distance, and follows the pattern in between these two edges. So, okay, we're going to do that for this one too. Double click. For this time, I want to use Shift and right click. I'm going to just type G, press G on my keyboard. G will do your last recent to use to. So, G does this. Alright. This is fair cup. Now, for the top, select all these faces here. Uh, edges, go to the edge. By now, you should know how to switch between the different modes. Just right click on your object, drag it upwards and release on the edge. Now select all of these edges, like hold it shift down and click it on any edge you want to select. Good. Now this is done. Go to connect to this edge to we are learning. Remember, a lot of learning to make a cup, we are learning how to use the different tools. Okay, so that when we want to do something on our own, we can. We know what the tools are for, we know what tool to use at what point in time. So at this point, click on connect after selecting this edges. Now we have this line here. Press enter on the keyboard to finalize the connect option. Alright. So, why did we do this? So we don't need to do this. <laughs> we don't need to do this. Press click and go to face mode. Let's select everything. And click on this and shift that will click on the to take back space. Okay, just delete everything, we didn't need it. Really. Now, good, we have this. Go to object mode by right clicking on the object and drag into object mode here. Okay, click on it. And we want to extrude this to give it a thickness because looking at this, it is so thin, and in real life, there's nothing as thin as this. Okay. So we have to give it some thickness. Go to uh, edit mesh, extrude. All right, extrude. Now this fiber should pop up somewhere anywhere on the top. Look for it, and then just pull it out. So as you pull out here, it pulls out to other objects at the same time, to other angles of the objects at the same time. So the top should be thick. I'm going to take this inside and reverse it later so I don't change the bits of the top or something. Okay. So this is a cup. Alright. Okay, before I move on, I'm going to go to object mode, then mesh display reverse. And I have this. I go to edge mode, then mesh tools, insert edge loop. Or should we do this? No. Just come here and double click. You come here again and double click. I go to your pivot, which is here. Click once. Increase the fraction so the, these two lines are pretty close. Because we want to divide this line, this space here, this space. Divide into multiple edges like this two. So, take a bit fraction, segments, and present. Alright, so now we have a cup which is around like the top, like the normal cups we do. Okay, what will I have the edges that are in the museum? So, let's go back to the front view to see what we have. So, here's what we get. Alright, just very close to our reference already. Now let's work on this handle. In this video, I'm going to be making just a cup, then maybe in a later video, I'll be making the salsa, which is way easier than this. So, for the handle, let's get into work. Uh, how will I create this handle? I'm going to use holes to create this handle. 
good sports. I try there are many, many different methods you can use. Okay, really different methods. You can start with a rectangle here and keep extruding, extruding as you go around. In fact, let's do it that way. Okay, let's just stick to it and walk through right now. So let's try and then put the pass this other view and pull out. Let's come in too. Okay. So back here, click on the object, put your rotate to and rotate it to fit this handle right here. Scale up and again rotate. So now we have this. Go to your front view. You can press F to zoom into the selected object. Right click on your face. Click on this face. Now let's start work. To extrude, go to mesh, edit mesh, sorry, extrude. Click on move to and then pull this up. So is this looks more like a strip line, I'm just going to put it somewhere, it is over here, then we will take this and zoom. Put more edge loops here. Do <coughs> this faster so we don't spend a lot of time doing this little pop. Okay, so here, put the face with the view. Let's select this edge, this face, extrude, edit mesh, extrude, and pull up. So let's rotate this okay to follow this well. Let's take it down so it's here yeah, to this point. And then <coughs> you can extrude again a bit up. Rotate. Let's scale this out. Scale it. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to go back to my world mode now. Control Shift right click. Go to world. Alright, you have to start the scale. Right. Let's uh, I'm here too. Okay. Let's do it like that. Then edit mesh, extrude again. Move. Let's say it's mesh extrude, pull upwards, rotate. Okay, let's see. Um, edit mesh. You know what? Instead of coming here every time, edit mesh, um, what's it called? Extrude, edit mesh, so there's a shortcut for extrude, which is Ctrl E. Okay? Ctrl E. Or, for your, by default, all of this should be empty. If you go to your custom uh, panel here, this should be so empty as it is here. So you can add your most used tools to this place. So, Instead of going up here and looking for tools in different areas, you can have all of them here or you can use their shortcuts. Now for extrude, the shortcut is Ctrl E, as you can see here. Now when you press Ctrl E, you can extrude. Okay, let's do this. 
that's x inputs and that's y. Okay. Now again, I want to extrude again, edit mesh. Instead of coming here every time, I can create a shortcut of this on this custom panel here. So to do that, what do you do? You press Ctrl Shift and right click on it. And then, oh, I right click on merge. I'm just going to leave that and do it for extrude. Ctrl Shift and right click on it too. Now we have this here. You can always extrude without having to go back up there every time, every time. So this way is easier uh, for us. Okay, extra again. You can see this is pretty cool, right? Okay, extra again. Oops, undo. Undo is Ctrl Z. So let's use this speed to me. Now it's getting bigger and bigger to so scale up. Now to rotate it so it's as it's going down already. Okay, extra little. Rotate. Extrude again. Now this is going back to four. Or I think this should not four. So double click on this line here and rotate the scale up. Right. Okay. Right, go to face mode again. You need to select this face at this corner here. Not this, not the top, not the bottom, but this left side. So to do that, you have come to select those the left, but today I'm going to drag over the notes here. So I said I know so I've selected the ones at this side. I'm selecting this, so I'm going to deselect this one. And now you see what I've got to sell that edge because only that edge, that water edge, the, uh, only that um, face on that side is selected. Now I'm going to extrude again. Okay, then this should be straight. Okay. This also go to edge mode. It also should be straight and taller. Yeah. Let's go to our vertex mode and adjust this. All right. Here should be called some bit. Edit mesh. Okay, mesh tools. I'll be using this tool a lot, so I'm going to put it as a shortcut also. Right. I'll go to pick tool, go to vertex mode, and move this up. Alright, good. And this up a little also. Great. One more thing, last thing, scale this up and move scale move. All right, good. Now let's take button. Let's add an edge loop here. Okay, here you can see your last use tool also. Instead of pressing G, you can always come here. Anyone that is faster for you, 
they move quicker easily and drive to the cruising edge. And here too, you can drive the cruising edge. Good. Now, let's see it in the 3D view, but it's not bad. You can put two. Put object mode. Put that on. And here's what we got. Now we can smooth in this object by selecting. Oh, let's place this well. Look at it. Click on remove to. Let's put this at zero. This also at zero. Alright, now we know that this is at the center of this curve, this point. So, now let's smooth in the curve automatically by selecting them and tapping carry on your keyboard. Okay, so we have this SC is on the perspective view, no, but it does not, yeah, still fair. Okay, this is fair. Let's add an edge to the frame. Okay. Three. Right, this is cool. And this is where we start. This is pretty good. Where we start. So here's our cup model. I'm going to save this now as um, cup. That's MB5. Cup. That's MB. Save. Yes. So this is where I'm going to end this tutorial right now. Uh, in our next tutorial, we're going to look at how to make the saucer as shown in this picture. Then we're going to let texture and render using my software render. Alright, so thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, if you've not done so already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. If you have any suggestions, any questions, any or any video you want me to make next, please make your suggestions in the comment section below. Like my video and feel free to share. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.